Hi, my name is Jarrett, and I'm here in Austin, Texas, to talk to Dimitri Julius and Alexander LaRue from Icon. Icon is a 3D printed construction company that just raised $35 million in A round funding. Without further ado, let's hear from Dimitri and Alex and check out some of their 3D printed houses here in Austin. Before that, make sure to like and subscribe so we can share this technology with as many people as possible. Hey, my name is Dimitri Julius. I'm the Vice President of Operations at ICON. ICON's a construction technology company that was uh, founded on the principles of making sustainable, beautiful, affordable housing um, out of cementitious material using advanced robotics and, uh, and a little bit of know-how. <laughs> Dimitri, thank you so much for joining me today. It's a pleasure. Super excited to be here. Especially today on 9-11, as we remember 9-11, I would like to take a moment to thank you for your military service with the Marines. I greatly appreciate that. Uh, what a day of reflection and, and definitely a moment in time for us to all kind of spend some time with. You, the rest of the troops and first responders, uh, certainly it's very appreciated um, the remembering on today like 9-11. And to see how far you've come since your service, now Vice President of Operations, for Icon Build, a company revolutionizing the way construction is done and having an opportunity to impact the homelessness issue that's now happening across America and worldwide. How have you used your military experience to pull into your current role at Icon? Yeah, it's a fantastic question. Um, at the end of the day, both of the jobs, while they sound different on paper, are fundamentally the same thing. You know, a startup is nothing but a group of people who decide to solve a hard problem together. Um, and at the end of the day, military services is akin to the exact same thing. A small group of people who have made a decision to go do something very difficult together. And so there's a ton of parallels that I can draw from um, in my military service that serve me very well in a construction job site um, from day to day. Hey guys, my name is Alex LaRue. I'm the Chief Technology Officer and co-founder of ICON. Alex, good afternoon. Hey, Jarrett. You are the CTO and co-founder of ICON, a construction company revolutionizing the construction methods and including automation at an unprecedented degree. So your journey started many years ago in college, I heard, mm -hmm. while you were studying mechanical engineering with a company called Vesta Printers. Mm -hmm. Can you tell me a little bit about how Vesta Printers transitioned into ultimately Icon? Sure, um, absolutely. Well, the first thing I'll say is starting a company right out of college, it's not always the best idea. Um, you know, you're very naive and young right after graduation, um, and you just don't know all that much. So, um, but, you know, I, I wanted to give it a shot, and so I did. Uh, I took some early work that I had done literally in a garage in college. Um, right behind this kind of house that you know me and my, my dorm um, uh, friends from, from college kind of lived in. And we ended up uh, building this 10 foot by 10 foot by 10 foot wood frame 3D printer. It didn't print anything all that amazing, but it was enough to kind of give me confidence that there was something here. So r right after college, um, I incorporated a company, um, ALR Technologies was what I called it, Alex LaRue Technologies. Um, and I kind of gave that a shot for about a year and a half. And eventually I found Evan Loomis and Jason Ballard here in Austin, Texas. Uh, got connected with them through a mutual connection. Uh, and we realized you know, that we had a lot of mutual respect. You know, I thought they were great business people. They, they um, thought that I was maybe onto something with the technology. And so we s decided to kind of team up. So I moved to Austin, Texas. Um, we got new story to think about this idea of 3D printing houses. They were kind of captivated by the idea. Uh, gave us a little bit of funding and kind of that led to the printing of the first permitted 3D printed house in the United States. We're really proud of that. Yeah, it certainly is interesting to see Icon focusing on homelessness and kind of the entry level housing versus yeah. some of the other companies that are focusing more on uh, high budget and like high end projects because sure. a lot of people think that you need to hit those categories first, but Icon's demonstrated by partnering with New Story and yeah. Mobile Loaves and Fishes that you can bring cutting edge technology to kind of the masses yeah, sure. without skip, or skipping that step, that intermediary Yeah, totally. Step. Yeah, that's a beautiful thing about what we're doing with 3D printing and concrete on a construction scale is that there are so many different applications, right? This is not a niche thing that is only for a specific geography or a specific sort of buyer. You know, this can kind of be cross uh, industry, right? This, this affects the military, this affects 
um, you know, people who used to be homeless, this affects middle market home buyers. Uh, that's pretty rare for a technology. And so we're really uh, excited to be kind of at the center of all this. A really unique aspect of this project in Austin is they were able to print three houses at a time. This is because the concrete cures at a certain speed. By printing three houses simultaneously, layer by layer, they were able to maximize the utility of the printer. Recently in California, Icon has done a project with the military to develop, it was like a garage. <laughs> That's a, sorry, caught me off guard with garage, yeah. We had the opportunity to work uh, directly with the United States Marine Corps um, on a project where we built a, a vehicle hide structure, um, not too dissimilar from a garage, uh, that would uh, serve for um, a high-powered multi-directional system um, to ultimately like get some concealment and cover. And so the purpose of that is for a quick build so that they could have it done faster than they would have with other methods? Yeah, the purpose of that exercise was to showcase the expeditionary use case uh, for cementitious material and 3D printing technology. To me, it really means a lot that Mobile Loaves and Fishes chose to make their welcome center out of the 3D printed concrete that Icon specializes in. Did they, was that a competition to decide who got to build the welcome center? I'll be completely honest, I'm not incredibly familiar with the actual back-end bid process, but um, we were incredibly excited to get the call from Mobile Loves and Fishes. Um, the group over there is a fantastic group of human beings working on um, some of the most innovative work we've seen in this space uh, throughout the world, really, but especially here in Texas. And so uh, this mission is near and dear to our heart, and any opportunity that uh, we have to work closely with them, um, we're definitely going to take very seriously. Looking forward, are there any projects coming up that we're allowed to discuss here? Um, as far as Mobile Loves and Fishes, it's kind of an ongoing partnership as they continue to expand what's happening out here. Um, we've definitely put our hands in the air and said that we're ready and willing to do some continuous work with them. And we look forward to uh, the opportunity to continue to expand on the builds as this place grows. Yeah, it's incredible how many different buildings there are here. I've seen the homelessness increase since I've been here in only three months. It seems like it's almost doubled. So it seems like the need now is as strong as ever, um, especially here in Austin for this kind of tech. Yeah, if you look at some of America's greatest cities, um, a, a raw fact of the matter is that homelessness is a problem and it's not just here or in LA or in Dallas, Texas. This is something that we're dealing with kind of nationwide. And um, for us to be thinking at the unique problem and how we can find innovative ways to start to chip away at it um, really gives us purpose and it's a reason for the team at ICON to get out of bed in the morning. Was the military project a one-off thing or is that a long-term relationship? So we've got uh, partnerships and, uh, and contracts to do continual work um, with individuals on the DOD side of the house. Um, it's one arm of the business, um, just as, as we've got some others in, in different areas. And we'll continue to, to work uh, with, with customers that are missionally aligned uh, that are looking to make a difference. How has your role changed pre-funding and post the A round funding that you just received? Yeah, it's a fun question. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, we still fashion ourselves, you know, um, yeah, normal everyday folks who get up and put our boots and jeans on the same way as everyone else. Um, there's no shame uh, for me or Alex or anyone else at the team to, to pick up a broom and, and clean the floor when that needs to get done or to go out and swing a hammer or, or, and, and work on the, uh, on the 3D printing technology. So um, my role is fundamentally the same, just a few more characters in the building um, and an opportunity to work with a, with a broader team. Awesome, thank you. I appreciate it. That went, we just rolled through. No more questions? Come on now. You can see the interior looks very clean until the next frame where you can see I tracked in a little mud from my boots. I wanted to follow in Dimitri's footsteps and grab a broom, but unfortunately I couldn't find one and we were in a little bit of a rush. There was a lot I didn't get the chance to discuss with Alex and Dimitri, so hopefully I'll be able to have them on for a podcast episode at some point in the future. Yeah, I really think the technology has the potential to change the definition of adequate housing yeah. globally. And if you can provide access to safe, secure, like concrete's the strongest thing ever. Uh, if people have a house that's going to be able to withstand a storm or a fire, yeah, absolutely. these things can ultimately be life-changing. And if people have the extra time to dedicate to their work or what they're passionate about, they don't have to worry about rebuilding mm -hmm. or where they're going to be able to sleep. Yeah. So ultimately, it seems to me like the potential for automated construction and improving the efficiency for this technology will 
impact the entire world more than I think a lot of people will realize. Totally. How did you tackle the construction industry, an industry so against change or so stuck in its ways? Yeah. And how has the construction industry been responding to your drastic measures? Sure. Um, I mean, it's kind of like the question, how do you eat an elephant, right? One bite at a time, right? We started out with a very small house on the east side. It was only 350 square feet. Um, but now, what has that led to? It's led to almost 20 houses that Icon has printed. You know, that's a lot of houses. Uh, but also, it's only 20. Uh, but pretty soon, uh, it's going to be 100, and then one day it'll be 1,000, and then, you know, as you're talking about, one day it'll be a million. That's kind of the trajectory. It'll eventually be this whole elephant, but we started with just a small little house on the east side. Um, and we're going to kind of keep that, that mental kind of framework of just what's right in front of us, what can we tackle next, and let's just do that. So you just raised a huge A round of $35 million. Where do you think the biggest portion of that money is going to go? Sure. So I can't talk about all, these, uh, all the details there. Um, right? that, that kind of involves our planning and, and that sure. sort of thing. Um, but what we can say is we're improving the technology a good bit. Um, that, that is something that we think um, will just have um, lots of kind of downstream effects, right? If the technology is a little more, a little faster, a little more reliable, um, and the concrete costs a little less, man, that has like a big impact on our customers, has a big impact on the projects that we're uh, doing ourselves. So that, that's a big thing for us, is just improving the technology. But also, we don't want to be the sort of company that's just in the lab doing R&D. We want to stay out there in the field uh, printing houses for people. That's how we learn uh, faster than just about in any other kind of way. When, when you're out in the field printing houses for people, they kind of give you feedback really quickly. They're like, oh, you know, I like this, I like that. You know, layer quality could be better over here. Um, you know, insulation here is okay, but uh, what if it was, you know, a little different. These conversations are super helpful, and you only have them when you're out in the field printing. So we really want to keep doing that. As far as the material goes, you've developed a custom lava crate? Yep, lava crate. So is there anything you could tell me about the lava crete that differentiates it from other printed concrete? Sure. So one of the things that Icon really believes in is, is vertical integration. So, you know, we have our own material, lava crete. We have our own Vulcan and Magma as well. Vulcan is the printer. Magma is the material delivery system. That's all developed in-house. And then the software as well, that, that's all developed in-house. The user interface for controlling our printers, that's kind of developed by Icon. And we think that when you've got uh, that sort of approach, uh, and you've got all the people developing these technologies in the same building constantly talking to each other, you end up with a really great product. Um, so, uh, you know, what, what I can tell you about Lava Creek kind of specifically is uh, 6,000 PSI. It's a really strong material. Um, it is proprietary. We are not buying it from some third party vendor and like adding our own admixtures or anything like that. Um, this is from the ground up. Um, kind of an icon mix. Uh, and, uh, you know, the, the other thing I might tell you is like, look, it looks great. It prints really well. You know, one of the things that the 3D printing concrete industry, I think, has struggled with is like, some of the print quality is not, not all that great. And I know, I mean, some of the very first buildings that I printed, they weren't all that pretty. Uh, but now, I mean, look at this. It just looks so dang good. And that's a lot of the magic of lava creep, that it's this material that just prints beautiful layers and it's consistent, right? All, all the layers are all the same width. Uh, there's no weird tearing in there. Um, so that's something that we're really proud of. That's something I wanted to mention earlier. When you contrast this wall here that was built over a year ago mm -hmm. with the initial picture of you from college yeah. with the raincoat on yeah. and the layer coat oh, gosh. there, it's impossible to deny the improvement. And people ask, can they buy a 3D printed house now? Is it the cheapest option? These questions are less important to me than the long-term progress of Tell the technology. Tell me about it, yeah, for and sure. it's been a short-term progress, so to look into the next five years, ten years, from my perspective, it seems completely undeniable that this technology is going to totally take over the world. Yeah, there's a line, something to the effect of like people overestimate how much they can do in a day, but underestimate what they can do in ten years, so, something like that. And I think that's so true. You know, we, I can't even imagine where we're going to be at in ten years. Um, the, the progress that we make with every single year is just astounding. I just can't wait to, to see where we're at in 10 years. For people who are interested in construction projects using your technology, is there any way for them to be able to make that happen? Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, go, go to our website, reach out to us. 
we are always interested in talking to people about uh, the projects that they're thinking about. Um, we, you know, you probably want to talk to Dimitri rather than me about this sort of thing, uh, if it's specifics, but uh, we're, we're definitely open for business. So as you might imagine, we're incredibly busy with the current partnerships and things that we've got going on out here, both at Community First Village and with New Story. But we're always looking for fantastic opportunities to partner with missionally aligned organizations that are looking to do good in the world. So we're constantly looking for opportunities to add new talent in all sections of our business, whether that be operations, software, or, to, or the raw technology team. So if you've got an interest in joining a team that's working on innovative fun problems, please feel free to reach out to us via our career page at www.iconbuild.com. Here's the tour of the 3D printed house by Icon in Austin. You can see the exterior walls clearly demonstrate the layers from the 3D printed concrete. And as we come inside, you can see many of the interior walls also feature the raw concrete. If you look closely, you can see the outlets, light switches, and ceiling fixtures are wired in mostly on top of the concrete. Looking around, it's incredible to see how practical they have made this small space. A lot of people are considering tiny homes these days, and Icon really hits that niche by including a living room and kitchen all in this one space. The bathroom and the bedroom were not available for me to go into today. Here's a picture provided by Icon so you can get an idea of what it looks like. Icon also brought out an AV specialist to help with some of the filming and audio for today's footage. But the editing is all on me, so don't complain to him. I'd also like to thank Brooke, who was instrumental in helping set up today's great video. It'll certainly be very exciting and potentially world-changing when we see the developments coming out of this exciting startup, Icon. What's the next big project, if there's one you're allowed to discuss? Um, I don't want to talk details on this. I wish I could. Uh, what, what I can say is it's going to be some pretty crazy, awesome stuff. Um, I, I can't wait. I really wish I could tell you all about it right now. We are so excited to be with you guys today. If you want to reach out to us, go to iconbuild.com. We would love to talk to you. Thank you.